Hey guys, I just finished getting ready and I'm heading out to go to Barnes & Noble. As you guys saw from the title of today's video, this is going to be a little bookstore vlog. I'm super excited because I haven't been to Barnes & Noble in a few weeks and I'm ready to pick up some new books. I'm almost done with all the books that I picked up during my last Barnes & Noble trip. I just have like two more that I actually want to film reading vlogs with. So I'm saving those to read later in the month with you guys. But I'm really excited. I have my little Barnes & Noble tote bag. I literally only use this bag when I go to Barnes & Noble. That way I don't have to take one of the plastic bags. I have a few books in mind that I want to pick up, but I don't know if my Barnes & Noble will have it. I was actually going to try going to a different Barnes & Noble today. I was going to go to the one in Brandon, Florida, but my husband and I are actually going to Brandon on Wednesday, I think. So I figured that I could check out that Barnes & Noble later this week when him and I go to Brandon for Dave and Buster's which I'm super excited about it has nothing to do with today's video but we love Dave and Buster's we're like little kids at heart but whatever besides the point who knows you guys you may get two bookstore vlogs in one week I don't know we shall see but let's head over to the Barnes and Noble in Tampa and pick up some good books So I'm back from the bookstore and I'm so excited with the books that I picked up. It seems like the Barnes & Nobles that I go to recently had a huge shipment of new books because their selection was on point today versus the last time I went, I feel like the selection there wasn't the greatest. So I'm super excited about all the books that I picked up and I can't wait to start reading them. So without further ado, let me just show you guys all the books that I picked up. I've heard so many great things about the first book that I picked up. I've even heard people say that this 
this book changed their life. When someone says that a book changed their life, I'm immediately intrigued. So of course, I finally had to pick up Normal People. This is a number one New York Times bestseller. Again, I've heard so many good things about this book. Really haven't heard a lot of negatives. And if you're not familiar with this novel, let me just quickly read the back cover for you guys. Connell and Marianne grew up in the same small town, but the similarities end there. At school, Connell is popular and well-liked, while Marianne is a loner. But when the two strike up a conversation, awkward but electrifying, something life-changing begins. Normal People is a story of mutual fascination, friendship, and love. It takes us from that first conversation to the years beyond, in the company of two people who try to stay apart but find that they can. This book sounds like it's going to pull at my heartstrings and I'm not ready. A stunning novel about the transformative power of relationships, absolutely engrossing and surprisingly heartbreaking with more depth and insight than any one novel deserves. Just some of the things people have been saying about this book. I feel like I'm super late reading this because I've seen it for such a long time, but again, I'm really excited to dive in. It's also not super thick, so I feel like I can definitely finish this in one sitting maybe on a Sunday morning when I just want to lay in bed. This is definitely going to be the book that I grab for that moment. Next up, we have Beautiful Disaster. This one's another New York Times bestseller, and when I read the back cover of this book, I was so intrigued. I'm a huge sucker for series, so when I saw that this book was actually part of a series, I was like, I'm so definitely going to pick it up. And then the back cover goes, the new Abby is a good girl. She doesn't drink or swear, and she has the appropriate number of cardigans in her wardrobe. I don't know why that made me laugh, but I found that so funny. Abby believes she has enough distance from the darkness of her past, but when she arrives at college with her best friend, her path to a new beginning is quickly challenged by Eastern University's walking one night stand. Travis, lean, cut, and covered in tattoos is exactly what Abby wants and needs to avoid. He spends his nights winning money in a floating fight ring and his days as the ultimate college camper charmer. Intrigued by Abby's resistance to his appeal, Travis tricks her into his daily life with a simple bet. If he loses, he must remain abstinent for a month. If Abby loses, she must live in Travis' apartment for the same amount of time. Either way, Travis has no idea that he has met his match. That just sounds so intriguing to me. And I want to know, how do you get someone to agree to a bat that if they lose, will require them to live with you for a month? I'm super curious to see what this bet is and how he convinces Abby to go along with the bat. Because I don't know, I feel like I personally would be very hesitant to accept a bat if someone was like, oh, if you lose, you have to live with me for a month. Like, Excuse me, what? I'm really curious to see how that plays out. Beautiful Disaster is insanely addictive, beautifully sexy, beautifully intense, and beautifully perfect. Wow, okay, very excited to read this one. <laughs> this next book, I have literally passed by it a million times every time I go to Barnes & Noble. For some reason, I never pick it up, but today I decided to finally pick it up, and it's the One of Us is a Line book. I know that they actually made this book into a show, which is on Peacock. I haven't watched the show yet, so I really don't know what to expect with this book. If I enjoy reading this book, I'm definitely going to check out the show. Um, I feel like I always end up enjoying books more than the show or movie itself. I feel like everyone does. It seems like it's a mystery type novel and those are my jam. So let me tell you guys what this book is about. A Monday afternoon, five students at Bayview High walk into detention. Bronwyn, the brain, is yell bound and never breaks a rule. Addie, the beauty, is the picture perfect homecoming princess. Nate, the criminal, is already on probation for dealing. I don't know why that made me laugh. <laughs> it's just the criminal. Cooper the athlete is the all-star baseball pitcher, and Simon the outcast is the creator of Bayview High's notorious gossip app. Only, Simon never makes it out of that classroom. Before the end of detention, Simon's dead, and according to investigators, his death was in an accident. On Monday, he died, but on Tuesday, he planned to post juicy reveals about all four of his high-profile classmates, which makes all four of them suspects in his murder? Or are they just the perfect patsies for a killer who's still on the loose? Everyone has secrets, right? What really matters is how far you will go to protect them. This book is actually part of a series. I think there's three books in the series altogether. 
maybe four i don't know but i'm really excited to start reading this i hope this book lives up to its hype because when i read a good girl's guide to murder i enjoyed reading it but the ending was so predictable that i just didn't understand the hype surrounding the book and i'm sorry if that's like your favorite book of all time i just don't really understand the hype surrounding that book so i'm hoping that this one is a lot better the next two books that i picked up are actually from the same author miss colleen hoover and i'm super excited because the first one that i picked up from colleen hoover is this girl which is the third book in the slam series and if you watch my last reading vlog then you know that i've been reading the slam series these past few weeks and i'm really excited to finally read book three i am excited to read it because i really love the two main characters lake and will but i'm also quite sad because the series is now coming to an end and I've really enjoyed getting to know Lake and Will's characters, their relationship, all that good stuff. The first book in the series, Slammed, is a five-star read for me because it is so good and I did not want to put that book down. So I'm really, really excited to read book three. So it goes, there are two sides to every love story. Now hear Will's. Colin Hoover's New York Times best-selling Slam series has brought countless readers to their knees with a whirlwind of love, passion, and heartache. Yes, it has. Lake and Will's love has managed to withstand the toughest of circumstances, and the young lovers, now married, are beginning to feel safe and secure in their union. As much as Lake relishes their new life together, she finds herself wanting to know everything there is to know about her husband, even though Will makes it clear he prefers to keep the painful memories of the past where they belong. Still, he can't resist his wife's pleas, and so he begins to untangle his side of the story, revealing for the first time his most intimate feelings and thoughts retelling both the good and bad moments, and sharing a few shocking confessions of his own from the time when they first met. In this girl, Will tells the story of their complicated relationship from his point of view. Their future rests on how well they deal with the past in this final installment of the beloved slam series i am so excited to read this book i feel like i've said that a million times but i absolutely love will he's one of my favorite male characters in colleen hoover's universe of books i'm excited but again i'm devastated that i'm about to finish this series so so good if you haven't read the slam series please pick it up and read it you'll love the first book i honestly prefer the first book over the second book but i feel like the second book is just as good so you honestly can't go wrong but definitely read them in order start with slammed then point of retreat and then you can obviously finish a series with the third book i feel like you have a better experience that way and then the next book that i got from colleen hoover is called confess my barnes and noble had a ton of colleen hoover books more than they've ever had since i started going there that made me so happy to see a like huge selection i mean it was a huge it was a big it was a moderate selection of colleen hoover books because now i can read more of her books without having to order them online. But this one's basically about Auburn has lost everything important to her. In her fight to rebuild her shattered life, she has her goals in sight and there's no room for mistakes. But when she walks into a Dallas art studio in search of a job, she doesn't expect to find a deep attraction to the enigmatic artist who works there, Owen. For once, Auburn takes a chance and puts her heart in control, only to discover that Owen is keeping a major secret from coming out. The magnitude of his past threatens to destroy everything Auburn loves most, and the only way to get her life back on track is to cut Owen out of it. To save their relationship, all Owen needs to do is confess. Hence title. But in this case, the confession could be much more destructive than the actual sin. In her magnificent and exceptional style, Colleen Hoover delivers once again a deeply moving story about how true love and family are ties that can never be broken. Am I going to cry with this book? I feel like I always end up crying with Colleen Hoover books. I love her writing. I connect with the characters a lot. Just her books are always like A plus for me. My only question is, do all of Colleen Hoover's male characters have a secret. I feel like I've read so many books of Colleen Hoover's that all the men have a secret. Do the females not have any secrets? Are they not interesting? Like, I'm so confused. Maybe I haven't read enough Colleen Hoover books. I feel like I've only read Ugly Love, It Ends With Us, Slammed One, book two from the Slam series. I'm forgetting one. November 9. 
so five books in total from Colleen Hoover and I feel like the men always had a secret in those books, right? Do the females ever have secrets? I don't know. Either way, super excited to read a, another Colleen Hoover book. I feel like I'm going to love it. I already know I'm going to love it. But yeah, those are all the books that I picked up during my bookstore shopping adventure today. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have read any of the books that I picked up today. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on the books. Also, leave any book recommendations that you may have in the comments below so I can definitely check them out next time I head into a Barnes & Noble. But again, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my little community here on YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.